Hi there, thanks for joining. I'm Stephanie Woodburn, and today I'm going to play Moss. It's an action-adventure puzzle game on Oculus Rift. Uh, if you want to learn more about the game, check out the link in the description. All right, let's get started. Ooh, okay. It's a beautiful book. If you look online, it says the number one thing about this is that it's a gorgeous game, which already it is. I feel like there's a thing I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh, open the book, very heavy. I hear voices. I can't understand what they mean, but they're lovely. Am I supposed to grab the butterfly? Oh, more. <laughs> Don't just stare at the empty Your page. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Mm. Shall we begin? Yes, we shall begin. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Oh. This is a sad fairy tale. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Wow, Next, already? the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. It looks like a champion, but not our champion. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. It's a sad beginning. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Oh. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. Oh. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Oh. That hero albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Wow, this is stunning. Oh. <gasps> Hi! Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Quill! Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. 
the right attitude. What can we find if we just go a little farther? Oh, oh my God. A bird. Look at this beautiful tree. Look at this world. This is the most lush VR experience I've ever had. Oh, hi. Ooh! You've got it! What are we, what are we? She was not exactly sure what she roused, hey. Hey. but she felt no danger from oh, the beings silently peering down at her. Oh, that's me! We're gonna be friends! Or, oh, it's your reflection. You're looking in the water. No, you're looking at me. Hi. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Okay, we gotta get back before night, I'm imagining. Okay, so now we're, oh, oh, we're moving. We've gotta get back. Let's go down this path. Ooh, a ladybug. Okay, it's, we're not interacting with the ladybug. We just say, hi. Go. Go, Quill, as fast as you can. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can go under the bridge. Okay. Hey. What's this? Uh, I can't see. Trigger. Is this a super jump? Okay. What? Into, oh, into here. Oh. I am so strong. Now we're, come, come back out, come back out. Oh, you're just stuck, get back out. Okay, okay, okay. What, are we going in, in there? We're going under it, we're going around. Go back. Okay, I see. Oh, I see our little obstacle course here. You're so little and strong. Run. Okay. I'm getting the mechanics. Ooh. La la la. Little stairs made just for me. No. 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 Oh my god. I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm so sorry, my little quill friend. Oops. Where, where are we going in there? Can you see anything? Oh, you're swimming. That's water. No, it's, what? No, it's not. It's, yeah. It's, it's okay, looks like we're gonna have to, oh, well we weren't supposed to go down the stairs. So we were supposed to go across. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Right. Don't be afraid. Can we leap jump from here? Oh, nice. Gotcha. Oh, we're... Yes! Use those forearms. And then we're gonna fall. Oh. Sorry. Friends. Okay. Gonna do this again. Once more with feeling, Quill. Getting the hang of you. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Keep going. Boop, boop. And then, uh, maybe we jump down to this one? Can I just come out? No, she's too little. Aw. You know, I think we take our size for granted sometimes. All right, all right, little one. Right, this is the, there's no other. OK, 
Okay, what can we possibly do here? We can jump up. We can jump onto... Can she jump onto this middle part here? I wonder. It's gonna be a lot of bleeps. Oh. Right. I need to be her super friend. Okay. It's like, did the first lesson teach you about blocks? No? Here's another. Okay, now jump. Okay, I got you a little block quill. Yay! And now we are going up. Did I miss that? She can run and leap. Ah! No. Hmm. She's got to jump onto this little diagonal thing and go up. Okay. Well, I tried the jump grab thing over there. Quill. Oh, Quill, what should we do? Also, I heard that you can reach out and up. She says up, but I heard you can reach out. High five. Ooh, yeah. Also, I heard that Quill reads American Sign Language. If I do, I love you. I don't know. You don't love me back? OK, that's fine. It takes time. All right. Let's get you up. I get that. But how? There you go. Woo! You are on a roll, right, Quill? Get it. Get it. All right. <laughs> Leaves are falling as we're doing this. <laughs> yes! That's right, Quill. You're the woman or mouse. You're the femme mouse. And then run. Run through that log. This is a beautiful place. Ooh, our gates, yay, we did it. Where are you, my friend? You're coming down this way? Friend. Uh-oh. Quill? It's getting dark. We need to go. There we go. Come on, Quill. What is this? The path less traveled. I just wanted to explore this because it looks like the perfect little thing just for her. But it's just your size. But it's not for us, I guess. Or is it? No, can't, can't interact with it. <gasps> it's so nice to see quill-sized things. Look at you little, little houses. Little stands. <gasps> quill, look, all your... This thing is beautiful. What's this? Ooh. This is such a relaxing game, by the way. Get the lantern! I'm not gonna knock on the door. I'm gonna pull you out. No. Can I, can I interact with this? Yeah. Boom, baby. I'm the gate for you. Because I'm a gentle woman. A friend! I think. Oh, bananas! Can we get the bananas? Eep! Eep! Oh, bananas? Fancy. Maybe it's just a lantern, actually. <gasps> hey! Friends! Hi! You've got a really cool helmet. And some pants, or a barrel, I can't. Hello! It's okay, Quell. Maybe they don't want to play, or there's no time. No time! They're on a mission. Hello! I'm sorry I'm an introvert, but in games, we like to make friends. Ooh, is this my home? Oh, this my home? I don't know. No, not my home. Kinky. Not my home. Hi! High five! <gasps> Hi! We're all going to see you, right? Oh, oh no. That was your home. Not mine. Hi. All right. 
Oh, he's fishing. Hello, friends. You're fishing. You're not letting me pass. All right, all right, all right, all right. This feels like a Donkey Kong country, real life world. Oh my God. Okay, we've got to hop in there. Ready? Be brave. We're gonna go, unless there's something else we're supposed to do. I don't do. Oh no, not that way either! <gasps> oh, I just want to teach you swimming. It's a really necessary skill in life, just in case so that never ever happens. All right, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. High five, no, just, you wanna high five me? High five. Can we high five? No, I guess I have to wait for the float alarm. High five. Hi. Okay, just like, get on with it. Go, and then go, jump, jump, jump. Oh, there, okay, we get it. We're jumping there and on and on to the house. Okay, listen, you live and you learn, well, you go, and then go, no. Let's do it again. Okay, ready, 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 opening, and go. Yes, yes, yosh. Oh, oh, what, what? I think I can, I think I can, get out there. All right, great, and now, Yeah, are we going this way? Or are we going this way? Probably this way. Okay, go. Can we, can we jump? Unless I can jump on those very attractive looking, but probably poisonous mushrooms. Can we go. Go. Uh, okay. I can't just cling on the edge. Grabbing the wheel so that homegirl can run across and jump. Oh, that was great. Do it. Yes. Now, and now we shall pull this magical lever. And now we shall pull this magical lever. And. Okay, we pulled the lever. Thanks to her new friend. Bill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. We did it! All right, so let's have you run across, and now we can make our way across the bridge. Excellent. Get it, Quill. She raced to the door of the cottage <gasps> she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, Hi, he lose himself in tales of its legend. Okay. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. 
Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. <gasps> what did we find? We found our glass! Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where uh -oh. did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Oh no. Will had never seen her uncle so shaken. Oh, that's so sad when you try and do something. Just west of the nice. clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle <gasps> Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Uh... Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden uh... from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Uh-oh. Uh... Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. Yeah, we can totally no. help. He snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt oh. hug told her he was heading for danger. Oh. I think you're underestimating me. I'll be me. back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave oh. the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. Oh no. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Oh. I don't know, Quill. Make promises. I might not be able to keep. Hey, Quill. Ooh. It's a cute little home. Can I wake you up? <gasps> Quill! Quill. Quill, wake up! Quill. Hey, kid! Kid! Hey! Wake up! Hey, Quill, there's a light talking to us. Hey, kid, over here! I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. Yay! We're going to need them. Right. Quill called out. Wait. Hey! Starling, wait! Oh, you're starving. Wait, what? Go! Oh, Starling. Yes! Starling! Quill had never That's met a Starling. In campfire stories, and they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Go, go, go. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. 